Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh, the food delivery service that brings pre-portioned seasonal ingredients right to your doorstep. According to the Time Institute, an average shopping trip lasts about 41 minutes. If you were to go once a week for the entire year, that would be 35 hours spent at the grocery store purchasing your ingredients. HelloFresh not only saves you tons of time, but you can break out of dinner ruts with over 22 seasonal chef curated recipes to choose from every week including our favorite this week, which was the Harissa Sweet Potato Pockets with Cucumber Dill Salad. Absolutely great little meal that includes really fun textures, including crunchy cucumbers, soft bread, and little toasted pepitas. HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients means you save time with prep and there's less food waste. HelloFresh is also really flexible. You can easily change your delivery dates, your food preferences, or even skip a week if you like. If you'd like to try HelloFresh, go to hellofresh.com and use the code MMA10 to receive 10 free meals Meals along with free shipping. Big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and for their continued support. Now today I'm going to be tasting a panoply of Girl Scout cookies. Now this video was a couple months in the making. I've been collecting and waiting for my cookies and finally they are all here and I can't, can't wait. Big huge thanks to lovely Oscar for suggesting this video and for doing so much work. He did so much research, including all kinds of links to all of these dupes. And a big shout out to my Girl Scouts, Addie, Nora, and Caroline for being the great Girl Scouts that they are and going out there and selling cookies for a great cause. Let me tell you the reason why I have so many boxes of Girl Scout cookies. So a few years ago, I purchased what I thought were all the flavors of Girl Scout cookies and did a taste test. I will put the link to that video down below, but apparently all the Girl Scout troops, actually the regions, can choose from two different bakeries. There's the ABC Bakery and there's the Little Brownie Baker's Bakery. And apparently the recipes are not the same. What? So I always thought it was a name thing. Oh, we call them Samoas, we call them Caramel Delights, Potato, Patata, Tomato, Tomata. No, they're different recipes. Even though they come in little cartons, they're both purple, they're different recipes. So here we are today, we're gonna taste all of these and we're also gonna taste the supermarket varieties as well. I even made a spreadsheet to organize all of this. So I will also include all the links to the websites I visited to gather all this information. There's also an interactive map to find out which bakery your local troop gets their cookies from. And apparently Little Brandy Bakers is a subsidiary of Keebler. What? So that's gonna be interesting because I also have a couple Keebler cookies as well. So I'm very curious to see how close those are to the original cookies. It's time to eat cookies. It's time to eat cookies. Oh, I forgot that I'm wearing this shirt. I meant to do this. Oh. This shirt creates a moray effect because it's got really close lines set together. And I knew that because I was going to be wearing my lab coat because this was supposed to be science, right? We're doing science here because I did a little breakdown of cost analysis here. Okay, just give me a moment while I get dressed. What I have here are 27 boxes or packages of cookies and I'm going to be eating them in order according to Wikipedia in terms of popularity or highest number of sales, which would be ding, 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 ding. Thin Mint, which is my favorite flavor. The Little Brownie Bakers I can find in Massachusetts and the ABC brand I can find here in Rhode Island. And in terms of size, both of these are nine ounce packages. They both come in a paper carton and at $5 a box, these work out to be 56 cents an ounce. Same price. Uh, in terms of carton size, the Little Brownie Bakers are a little bit smaller than the ABC brand. There is the Little Brownie Bakers. Looks like their sleeve is clear and ABC brand is foiled. The ABC brand is a little bit fluted around the edges, a little bit rougher in texture, and they have more kind of dots on them. So the Little Brownie Bakers looks like the dots are in a star pattern. There are a total of six of them, and it is a round cookie. The fudge coating looks to be a little bit thicker too. You don't see much of the texture of the cookie. All right, I can't stand it. These are my favorite. All right, I'm gonna try Rhode Island first. Rhode Island represent, this is the ABC Bakers. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Such a great cookie. If you are a peppermint fan, you will love these. Little crisp chocolate cookie in the middle, thin little fudgy coating on the outside. Not too much about the chocolate, it's all about the mint in that cookie. 
Oh, love that. Love that as a peppermint fan. Alrighty, so let's compare that with the little brownie bakers. That's so funny. It's totally different. It's very different. The thickness of the cookie is different. These cookies are thicker and they have more of a kind of crumbly crunch to them while the ABC brands are thinner. The ABC cookies are much mintier. They have this great minty flavor while the little brownie bakers are not as minty. Wow! This one's easy for me, hands down. ABC bakers right here. Oh yeah. Next, let's taste this, and this is Keebler's Grasshopper, and this comes at a price point of 57 cents per ounce, almost the exact same price as the Girl Scout cookies. So these dupes at the local grocery store were on sale right at the same time Girl Scout cookies go for sale, which around here is February and March. So the sale price of these came out to be 27 cents per ounce, so about half the price when they're on sale. Um, undercutting Girl Scouts, come on guys, really little brownie bakers are actually a subsidiary of Keebler. So I'm imagining they're gonna be more similar to those ones. Interesting. So here is the Keebler, and it actually looks to be a hybrid between the ABC and the Little Brownie Bakers. It has the six points, just like the Little Brownie Bakers, but it has a bit of a fluted edge, like the ABC. Mmm. Mmm, it's different than the Little Brownie Bakers. The cookie is crisper, much more similar to the ABC. Mm-hmm, and definitely mintier than the Little Brownie Bakers. Much more similar to the ABCs, but I think the ABC is still mintier. Mmm, mm-hmm. The Keebler one is still pretty good. I actually like it better than the Little Brownie Bakers version. It's mintier and it has a thinner, crisper texture, which I enjoy. So it's actually different than the Little Brownie Bakers recipe. I thought they'd be at least similar, if not identical, but they're not. Interesting. Eats, and I got this one from the Family Dollar. And this worked out to be 19 cents per ounce. This one too comes in a foil sleeve, which is similar to the ABC Bakery. So I noticed immediately that the fudge coating is much thinner. You can see the cookie more. And the edges are fluted, more similar to the ABC. Mm -mm. This cookie is very different. Look at that. The cookie is not chocolate. So it has this kind of vanilla flavor. The texture is similar to the ABC, but the flavor is not. It's much more vanilla. It doesn't have that deep kind of like dark chocolate flavor to it. The minty flavor is not bad. It's still kind of light though. Nothing has been as strong as the ABC one. Eh, this one's fine. So this is oven baked, fudge mint, fudge mint cookies, and these come from the Dollar Tree, and these were the least expensive. This works out to be 11 cents per ounce. Oh, these look almost identical to the ones that we got from the Family Dollar, from the Eats Company. Look at that, same kind of fluted edge, same number of dots. Oh, and the cookie's blonde as well. I think that might be the same exact cookie. All right, let's give that a taste. Mm-hmm, yeah, identical, mm-hmm. Coming in at 19% sales, the next cookie would be the Samoa or the Caramel Delight. So once again, the cookies come in a cardboard carton and the ABC box is slightly larger, although in terms of net weight, the Little Brownie Bakers actually give you a little bit more. It's 7.5 ounces of cookies. So ABC comes in at 71 cents per ounce, while the Little Brownie Bakers comes at 67 cents an ounce. Slightly less expensive. So this is a little bit different. They come in little plastic trays. Little Brownie Bakers, ABC. Right off the bat, we can see a difference in color. Drizzle pattern's a little bit different. Little Brownie Bakers, it has a little bit of a curve to it, while ABC is straight. Both have a fudge coating on the bottom. Let's break them and see what it looks like inside. There's the cookie. A Little bit of stretchy caramel for the Little Brownie Bakers. And let's see, a little bit of stretchy on that one too. Okay, let's try ABC first, here we go. Mm -hmm. Very sweet cookie, a little chocolate on the bottom. It's very, very strong flavor of toasted coconut and a vanilla shortbread cookie inside. Yeah, not bad. Almost like a 
almond joy kind of candy bar style cookie. Now let's try the little brownie bakers. Mmm, this one seems a little bit sweeter to me and has a crunchier texture. Mm -hmm. I feel like the little brownie bakers have a thicker coating of coconut on the outside. There's less cookie. In terms of flavor profiles, very, very similar. I think also the little brownie bakers seems a little bit sweeter as well. And just less emphasis on the cookie. I don't have a clear, distinct winner between these two as I did with the Thin Mints. So the first dupe that I have is the Keebler brand, and this came in at 46 cents an ounce, and on sale it's 22 cents an ounce. So this one does look more like the Little Brownie Bakers, which shouldn't be a surprise, because again, this is a subsidiary of Keebler. So let's break that. And in terms of interior, it looks pretty similar too. Although the cookie ratio looks a little bit higher, maybe a little bit more like the ABC. Oh, this is so interesting. Here we go. ABC brand has a very concentrated flavor of coconut. Maybe even the biscuit itself is flavored of coconut. While the Keebler brand, coconut is there, but it's not as like powerfully strong. You don't get that kind of suntan lotion flavor as much, but it does have more cookie in it relative to the Little Brownie Bakers. I think I like the Keebler one better than the originals. <laughs> mm-hmm. So here's another one, and this is by Signature Select, and this is the store brand of Shaw's, which is a local grocery chain here in Rhode Island. And these are called Caramel Coconut Fudge Cookies, and this came in at 35 cents an ounce, a little bit cheaper, and on sale it was 29 cents an ounce. Here's this one. This one actually looks pretty similar to Keebler, although Keebler had more of an arc to the striping, and these ones are straight. Break this. Those seem to have a little bit more caramel, just a little bit more, and less of a coconutty flavor. A little bit more similar to the Keebler. So next I have this one at 25 cents an ounce. That looks almost identical to the Signature Select. Look at that. I think those taste identical to the Signature Select. And finally I have these, and these are Benton's, and these come from Aldi, 16 cents an ounce. Same number of stripes and everything. The chocolate looks to be a little bit darker, but very, very similar to all the others. Mm -hmm. At this point, I've had so many versions that are so close that my ability to distinguish between all these has just gone. This tastes just like the one I had prior. The texture of the cookie, the flavors, are all very similar. I think also because the coconut flavoring is so strong, kind of just dominates and takes over everything, there's a less to kind of analyze and break down because all I really taste is toasted coconut. Coming in at 16% sales, we have the peanut butter sandwich or the dosi dos. Little Brownie Baker, again, is slightly smaller than the ABC. In terms of net weight, they're exactly the same, eight ounces. So that works out to be 63 cents an ounce. So they're both studded with little rhombuses and they have a little hole in the middle that shows you the peanut butter. The ABC brand looks to be a little bit darker, more toasted in color than the Little Brownie Bakers. Okay, let's try the ABC. Mm. Very, very crisp peanut butter cookie sandwich. Strong peanut butter flavor, smooth peanut butter. It is a little bit dry, but that's what I often find about peanut butter cookies. Let's compare that with the Little Brownie Bakers. Hmm, that's equally crisp, but in kind of a slightly different way, a little bit more short. There's a little bit more crumbliness to it, a little less cracker-like, but both of them have a nice crunch to them, which is surprising for a cookie to me. I like the balance of flavors in this one better. I think there's a little bit more salt in the filling, maybe. Mm -hmm. I might give that one to Little Brownie Bakers. So at 13% sales, we have Tagalongs or peanut butter patties. So another peanut butter cookie, but this time we've got some chocolate. The same weight at 6.5 ounces, 77 cents per ounce. The Tagalongs look to be a little bit lighter in color, and they've got this kind of distinct little bump here, while the peanut butter patties are a little bit smoother. Let's snap them. So there's a peanut butter patty. So it looks like there's a little bit of peanut butter on top of a vanilla cookie. See the tagalongs. 
Oh, yeah. So the taglongs have more of a peanut butter button on top. And when I pushed on it, it was a little bit soft on top. Okay, let's taste the ABC first. Mmm, nice peanut buttery flavor, but very reminiscent of, say, a Reese's peanut butter cup because you've got some of that chocolate in there, and then you've got a nice little crunch of a cookie below. Nice little balance of peanut butter, chocolate, and cookie. Now let's compare that with the Little Brownie Baker. Mmm, this has more peanut butter in it, so you've got a creamy, distinctive top on the top, but less emphasis on chocolate. In terms of balance, I think I like the ABC version better. It's more leans towards chocolate, just a little bit, while the Tagalons lean more towards the peanut butter. So depending on your preferences, if you're a peanut butter person, I think you'd like the Tagalongs better. So Signature Select comes in at 42 cents per ounce, on sale at 35 cents per ounce. Wow, and the cookie looks very similar to the ABC. Flat top. Ooh, the cookie looks different though. The cookie is chocolate. Mm-hmm. The cookie is lighter. It has more of kind of like a shattery, crunchy texture rather than being firm. It's more flaky. In terms of flavor though, very much more similar to the ABC in terms of it's kind of leaning more towards chocolate. Next, we have the Eats coming in at 25 cents per ounce, and this comes from Family Dollar. This does look similar to the ABC and the Signature Select, but it got a little bit of a hump right there. So a little bit of a hybrid. Oh but the cookie looks to be exactly the same as the Signature Select. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I would say that's very, very similar, if not identical to the Signature Select. Same texture of cookie, same kind of leaning towards chocolate. Lastly, I have this one, and this is the Benton's Peanut Butter Filled Cookies. And these come from Aldi, and these were the least expensive at 15 cents per ounce. Oh, again. Very similar, same color, chocolate, and everything, coating, all very different than the Little Brownie Baker. They all look more like the ABC brand in terms of shape, color. Let's see what color the cookie is. Oh, the cookie is different though. Although this is a chocolate cookie, which is different than the original, the crunch of it seems much more like the ABC brand. Let's taste it. The cookie is much more similar to the ABC brand and the Tagalongs. It's got more of a cookie-like texture. It's not flaky like the last two. It has more of a firmer bite and a crumbly crumb. And the texture of the peanut butter is a little bit different though. This is a little bit weepier and kind of more oozy than just being creamy. Mm -hmm. And the chocolate both tastes and feels a little bit more waxy. I would say all the dupes are very close, but they're not quite identical, but if you're needing a fix, I think any of them will work. At 9% sales are the Lemonades or Lemon Ups. So the ABC brand comes in at 59 cents an ounce. The Little Brownie Baker ones come at 81 cents an ounce, which is the most expensive cookie they make. And that's also because there's only 6.2 ounces in this bag. Oh, so here's Little Brownie Bakers. I am creative. I am gutsy. I am strong. Ooh, I can smell the lemon. I am bold. I like that. Little affirmations. And they have a little bit of icing on the back. So these look like slices of lemons. Different color. These two are iced on the back, but a very different kind of icing. This is more like a glaze, while this is a little bit thicker. I forgot to include a little bit of history. So the ABC Bakery has been with the Girl Scouts since 1937, while the Little Brownie Bakers have been baking for the Girl Scouts for just the past 35 years. Again, let's start with ABC and see what those taste like. Here we go. Shortbread cookie, very similar to say, a Lorna Dune cookie, very sweet. And then you've got a nice flavor of lemon in there, lemon extract with a kind of waxy, sweet glaze on the bottom. I'm not a huge lemon cookie fan, but if you are, you might like this. They're not sour at all, it's definitely sweet. Now let's try the Little Brownie Baker version, very different cookie. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this has a very a different texture to it. Crumbly again, but not as short. This doesn't seem to have as much fat maybe, kind of a crisper. Strong lemony flavor. But this one tastes much more like a lemon extract. Very strong lemon flavor. It reminds me of 
breakfast cereal somehow and lemon jello. Why am I thinking breakfast cereal? What breakfast cereal? Oh, it tastes kind of like Fruity Pebbles or Fruit Loops. That's what it's like. Yeah, I didn't realize how much lemon flavor is in some, a cereal like Fruit Loops, but that's what this reminds me of. And this was the Signature Select dupe, and this is the Lemon Shortbread Cookies. So these came at 35 cents and on sale 29 cents. Oh wow, these look very, very, very similar to the ABC brand. The style of cookie, the glaze on the bottom, Mm. I would say almost identical in both texture, mouthfeel, everything. I'd say maybe the ABC is just slightly more acidic. In terms of lemon flavor, they both taste very lemony, but I think the ABC has just a tiny bit more acidity to it. Next, I have the trefoils at 7%, and these are shortbread cookies. And in weight, they're same at 9 ounces, 56 cents per ounce. So the ABC bakers have little holes in them, little perforations, while the Little Brownie Baker do not. And these are a little bit darker in color, a little bit more toasted. So let's give the ABC brand taste first. Wow, very crumbly. Mm -hmm. And they have that commercial processed cookie flavor to them. It's like an artificial buttery flavor, although they're very short and crumbly and very reminiscent of shortbread. It's not like real butter flavor, Little Brownie Bakers. Mmm, very different. These taste more vanilla, and the texture is completely different. These are more sandy, and kind of crackery, and dry and crumbly. To me, the ABC brand has more of the classic shortbread texture, and kind of processed buttery flavor, than the Little Brownie Bakers. Both bakeries make a Girl Scout s'mores, but they are completely different in style. So here's the ABC cookie, Little Brownie Bakers. So the Little Brownie Bakers are much more kind of traditional in the sense of what you think of when you think of a s'mores. Graham cracker, marshmallow, chocolate. There's a little coating of white, so maybe that's the marshmallow. It just tastes like a very sweet chocolate dipped cookie. The cookie doesn't really remind me of Graham necessarily. It's just very, very sweet. And the chocolate isn't that chocolatey. Alrighty, let's try the other version. This one, I can really taste the chocolate layer and this marshmallow layer, which has a very kind of cloyingly vanilla kind of flavor to it. But I like the fact that there's a separation between the cookie and the layers. I can actually distinguish the different flavors. Yeah, I think this one I'm gonna give to Little Brownie Baker. And lastly, I have these two. They both come in this kind of teal packaging, but they are not supposed to be similar at all. The Little Brownie Bakers make one called a Toffee-tastic. The ABC brand makes something called a thanks a lot. So these come at 75 cents an ounce. It's kind of like a shortbread. We snap it. Whoa! <laughs> That's a hard cookie. Based on what it looked like, I was expecting it to be like a pecan sandy. I'm just shortbready and crumbly, but it was actually very firm. And then you get little chewy bits of toffee. I like that. The flavor of like a Heath bar, the kind of buttery rum flavor of candy in there. And then you've got shortbread all around it, which is buttery in itself, but not so buttery and crumbly that when you bite it, it just kind of showers everywhere. Next, we have the Thanks a Lots, and these come from the ABC Bakery. So these remind me of the lemonades. They've got chocolate on the bottom or a glaze, and this one says Asante. Oh, I bet it says thank you in different languages. Gracias. Oh, I love that. Merci. Che, che. That's great. And thank you. All right, let's give that a taste. Mm. It's a very sweet cookie, and as you heard, very crispy. Vanilla cookie, and then you've got a layer of chocolate on the bottom. I think, again, would be a good dipping cookie. It's not as short as, say, some of the other shortbreads I've had or the tree foils. It doesn't have that really strong buttery flavor, but I like the crisp texture of it. And then you've got this chocolate on the bottom. The chocolate's not that great of quality. You've got a chocolate flavor to it and it's got kind of a waxy texture. But what I really love are the little thank yous on each cookie. So good to be grateful. <sighs> and I am so grateful to be done <laughs> with this cookie taste test. Oh man, is my gut busted. <sighs> 27 packages of cookies. I tasted them all. And all in all, the Girl Scout cookies they're a good thing. 
they support a good cause, they're teaching girls how to be entrepreneurial, and it's supporting a good cause. The cookies themselves, they taste like commercial baked cookies because that's what they are, but they're supporting girls and their activities, and I think it's a good thing. If you need a fix outside of Girl Scout season and you haven't squirreled a bunch away in your freezer, then some of these dupes will do it for you, but just get them from the Girl Scouts. They're doing good things, and yeah, support them. That's what I say. And speaking of support, big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Head over to HelloFresh.com and use the code EMMYMADE10 to receive 10 free meals, including free shipping. And also, because I have so many cookies, be sure to check out a video to come where I utilize these cookies in a fun recipe. And if you'd like to win a box of cookies, I went bonkers and I got so many cookies from my local Girl Scouts. If you'd like to win a free box, head over to my social media to see how you can get one. And yeah, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like this video. Subscribe. And I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. I ate too many cookies.